Hello, this is Danny Bly from the College of Integrated Chinese Medicine. Please pause and read this information. So within Chinese medicine, different areas of the tongue resonate with different organ systems. So if we loosely divide the tongue into equal thirds, the rear third corresponds to the lower jaw, the kidney, bladder, intestines and uterus. The middle third corresponds to the middle jaw, the spleen and stomach, the digestive system. And the upper jaw corresponds to the heart and lungs. Looking at the front in more detail, the very tip corresponds to the heart. And a larger area, the whole kind of front third-ish, corresponds to the lungs. That's the whole of that area. Likewise, if we look at the sides, the whole sides correspond to the liver and gallbladder. Um, if it's just one-sided, the liver is more the left and the gallbladder more the right, whereas the middle section of the sides corresponds to the spleen and stomach. So if the whole tongue is swollen, that's damp or phlegm. Um, if the edges, the sides are swollen, there's three possibilities. One is that the whole edges are swollen, so you get a tongue that looks rather like that in profile. Um, and that's spleen and stomach, usually spleen chi deficiency. Um, if the sides are swollen, like so, this tends to be liver and gallbladder and if just the centre of the sides are swollen it tends to be spleen and stomach. If the tip is swollen it often comes along with a with a long tongue that's the heart, so the heart sheet you should see if it's pale or heart sheet if it's red. If the whole front is swollen, it tends to be the lung. The phlegm in the lungs or heat or chi deficiency depending on the colour. If you have what they call a hammer tongue, so the whole front is um, swollen, this shows quite a serious condition of um, fluids not moving in the upper jaw and this is either caused by serious overwork um, or a mental health problem the heart's not happy you can also get swelling around a midline crack which is um, to do with the heart, with the heart chi deficiency, usually quite a serious condition. If it's around a stomach crack, but often um, phlegm in the stomach. So this tongue in profile sort of looks rather like that. And if you get just one half of the tongue swollen, this is usually to do with the channels so a stroke or, or Way syndrome, something like that. So with red spots or points, if you get them on the very tip, that's the heart. If you get them either on the sides of the tip or over the whole front, that's the lungs. Whereas if you get points or spots on the side of the tongue, the liver and gallbladder, usually liver heat, and if they're just on the centre of the sides, then this is the stomach and spleen, usually stomach heat or fire. Stomach heat can also be points around the centre of the tongue or chi level heat. Points or spots that are one-sided, um, the 
gallbladder if it's on the right, liver on the left, usually tells you there's a lingering pathogenic factor. And points or spots on the lower third of the tongue um, just tells you that there's heat in one of those organs, so the intestines, the bladder or the uterus. Finally, because I'm running out of space, if you get purple areas or purple spots on the tongue, tongue they can tell you about blood stagnation, trauma or old injury. So around the front is the head, the shoulders, the chest, either on the sides or anywhere in this front area, um, the middle of the tongue, the mid body and the lower part of the tongue, the trunk with the sides of the root, the hips, with spots and points on the in external pathogenic factors, if they're um, on the front of the tongue, shows you that the pathogen's at the, in the exterior, and if it's in the centre of the tongue, the sort of spleen and stomach area, shows you that it's on the interior. Likewise, you can see a progression from the outside of the tongue in exterior conditions into the centre of the tongue in interior ones. Finally, if we look at the tongue in profile, a swollen tongue is looks bigger than it should be, whereas a thin tongue looks thinner, straightforward. You can also get a tongue where the sides seem to drop away and the tongue width is quite thin in liver yin deficiency, or a tongue that's got slight ridges, looks like the edges are almost squared off in liver cheese stagnation. Um, that's kind of another swollen sides. So that's just about everything I've got room for for tongue shape.